impossible to turn on the TV or go on the internet without seeing a bucket of icy water being dumped on somebody's head. This video by the Chicago Board Options Exchange of the CEO getting doused even includes a GoPro view. The ALS Foundation has launched a phenomenon that is gripping the nation, and at last check, the charity has raised almost $100 million. Joining us on set now, Lisa Dietland, president of Dietland and Associates. You follow charity trends. What do you make of this one? Oh my gosh, it's amazing, Angie. It's absolutely amazing the fact that they are the first nonprofit to be able to monetize social media. We have been wondering who was going to do it. Who is going to take Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn and be able to raise money off of it? And ALS has found a brilliant way to do it. What does this mean for other charities? Well, what it means is that the door has been busted open. You the ceiling has been crashed through that there's actually an opportunity for other nonprofits to look at what can they do that attracts people and gets a phenomenon going you know the American Cancer Society tried it this spring with the polar plunge but it was limited you had to be near water and cold water to jump in and what ALS did that was so brilliant is anybody can participate from little kids to presidents of the United States does the ALS foundation though cause other charities to lose money no, I don't think that. You know, that's always been my premise that, you know, Americans are generous. We were born in this country. If we wanted something, we built a church, we built a school, we built a hospital. That when a hurricane hits like Sandy did or Katrina, it didn't cause other charities to lose money. I don't see that effect. This is just a fun summer phenomenon that's going to have an amazing impact on a horrible disease. But does it temper the situation that some people are getting hurt? Oh, well, yes, it does. I mean, we always have there's to be careful. There have injuries. been there's been Not a lot. lot. There's well. been a couple of injuries and some of them when you look at the video is pretty significant and I do think that it does temper it a little bit that some people that are getting, you know, 50 gallon drums and dumping bu buckets of ice water or, you know, the ice that um, forms into a big chunk. Yeah, it is dangerous, but I don't think it tempers the enthusiasm. So keep on dumping, but do it safely. <laughs> do it stir up that pot. Make sure those ice cubes are are floating around. <laughs> Good to have you here. Thank you, Lisa. Nice to be here.